Hello, dear friends. Welcome back on a tutorial from the Enix. So today our the, the tutorial on the is uh, from the CAM computer added manufacturing. So in the previous tutorial, uh, we uh, the analyzed this workpiece. So we made uh, this operation for the beginning. So there's the planar milling to remove the 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 outer surface the workpiece, and then we made the the finishing operation with the planar profile operation to remove the, the this part on the, the, the surface. So, and uh, uh, then uh, what we can remember from the previous tutorial. So we the, for the beginning that defined our the zero point here, uh, this one, and uh, we defined our the work piece. So let's see here the, our the work piece, and we defined our the blank is this one. So. We that uh, we did uh, this operation in the previous uh, the tutorial. So now in the, this tutorial, we will uh, use the same the planar meaning operation to remove the, these pockets. And the uh, in the, the workpiece, we can see that there is a two pockets. So we will see the how to the the remove the material the from the pocket uh, using the planar milling operation, and we will make the finishing operation as well as the, the with the planar profile. So in this tutorial, as well as we will learn the, the how to optimize the, the tool pass in the, the, the in the planar milling you for the, this kind of the pocket. So we will use the same for the beginning, the tool which we created before is the, this tool with a diameter of the 10 millimeters. So uh, for the, this pocketing operation is the, the flat milling. So there is the no the, the angles uh, in the in the corner, so let's create for the beginning that the operation. So uh, we will use here the planner milling. So from the top, select the mill planner. So here the planner milling for the roughing operation. For the location, so it's the program, the tool, diameter 10. So the geometry to work with and the method we will use the for the beginning is the roughing operation for the planner milling and the press OK. So here, the select here the specify the part boundary to specify the over the part boundary and change the selection method from the face to the curve. And here the change the selection filter of the course to the tangent course and select uh, this edge. So you see that this total length that the uh, curve is selected. And uh, here the, the boundary type keep it closed since it is a closed uh, boundary. And uh, here that the tool side should be that it's changed to the inside because we would like to remove the material in this case the the, the which is the inside of the this boundary and the, to specify the the plane the upper plane go to the specify and select the, this face so the, this is our the upper which will really start our the operation the plane and uh, uh, directly here that this pocket is selected in order to add the, this pocket to our the operation. The second of the, the pocket here, go to the, the add new set icon to so select the add new set. And uh, here as a, the course here, you see the select in this case, be careful that it should be the tangent again and select here the this edge again, in the second pocket. So. And the chain, this should be also the inside because it is the inside and specify the plane is the already selected. The same for the boss. And just here, you see in the list, we have the two curves for the curve one for the this pocket and the curve to these two pockets, the second pocket. So we defined our the part boundaries. So for our the pockets and press the K here. And uh, here you can see the display it to, to see the our the part boundaries, two boundaries. Now the next step is to specify the here the floor. Go to the specify the floor. And the floor for the both one is the, the same here. You can select this one and uh, press K here. So you see the floor is specified for the both pockets. Now there is uh, selected here the two cat pattern as a follow part the rough and then make it cut level, the constant and the one millimeter here, select the constant and just press okay here. And uh, generate the tool pass. You see the generate the tool pass is created for the two pockets. So 
you see now we can uh, verify it so let's say here the, this one and just press play here you see the the, the, the removal material is the started one layer from the this one and one layer from the this one and the always in the, the same manner and you see the material is the remained here in the, the walls since it is the roughing operation so uh, now uh, what we have to do we can let's uh, let's speed, speed up we can make some optimization in the tool pass how we can make the some optimization now we will see it let's uh, finish with the simulation uh, you see the one layer from the this side one layer from the this side but can make some optimization in order to make some optimization just here the close this one and go here the 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 cutting parameter select the cutting parameters and from the here the strategy from the strategy select here the the cut order select the depths the depths first so it means that if you select the depths first it means that the tool will firstly the remove the material the first pocket then after the finishing the, the this one will be if we work with the second pocket i think that it will be the more the better the solution this one this is the more better than the previous one and press ok here and make it generate again here and uh, go to the verify and um, press the play to see the result you see in this case it is the working for the beginning the, the first uh, after the finishing the first pocket it will go to the second one this is the how to make some optimization in the two pass in the in the this can in the in the this kind of the in the this kind of the the operation so now we can make the floor the finishing in the this operation which is the remain it here in order to do this we will create again the operation go to create operation here select the planner profile the tool location with this one and uh, here the make it finishing and press ok and uh, the same way they go to the specify the part boundaries and change it to the course selection filter make it tangent always and select uh, this one and make it material the side tool side is inside and here the plane specify the plane is the this plane and uh, add new set so for the second pocket and select the second pocket the boundaries and make it inside again so it is a specified the plane you see here there's two in the list two cores so for the first pocket and then for the second pocket so press ok now next step is to specify the floor select this one and then select the, the this plane floor and press ok so here you can define the here the cut depth as a constant and make it one here oh here let's make it this one and uh, let's uh, generate the tool pass so you see the tool pass is created along the profile so it is the finishing operation here method is the finishing and let's uh, verify the tool pass so go to the verify and uh, make it slower little bit animation and press the play you see the this one is the moving firstly this pocket and the next is the then is the second pocket is the removing since the as a cutting parameter here let's check the cutting parameter that's okay here so here the the cutting parameter and here is the depth first is already selected as a previous one that's why it is uh, removing the first pocket and the second pocket so that's okay here that's okay so this is the how to remove the the pockets two pockets with the same depth 
Also, we had make some optimization using the uh, in the planner milling with the uh, depth first operation in the in the our the cutting parameters. 